What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, as I mentioned, we're going to go back to that spot I got stuck. Uh, they explained it, and this is some big brain shit right here. This is... I don't know if I would have figured this out without the devs mentioning it. I mean, eventually I think I would have, but yeah, this is not apparent to me at all. So, get ready for this. This is going to be wild. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but... Wow. I mean, it all makes sense now. It, now, thinking back to where we were stuck, I, uh, I mean, well, actually, so, with, with the, with the, uh, I'll say this, with the order of actions I took, we were stuck. There was gonna be, uh, there was no, no getting out with what I did, but there was, in fact, a way to not be stuck. Is there a shortcut to get over here faster? No, I don't think so. I think I ran, just run and jump a bunch. But now I want to know what's over there. No, you. <laughs> Not going. Revenge. I love the happy feet. So the whole reason there was a leave umbral here is because there's a platform. And so what we have to do is walk out until we're over the platform, which in a second we would have hit that, and then we drop our lantern to fall down. How ridiculous is that? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, this just, like... This, uh... Really opened my eyes to the extent of the, I guess we could call it just umbral fuckery that is in this game. Like, you, you need to use umbral in ways that crazy. Use a pinch of umbral to rot, to, to walk, cut the umbral, drop, and then we can take this other path that we had saw that I thought was impassable. Shadow Beasts! Do not like them. Going back the other way. Oop! I'm taking the stairs up. I was wondering what the hell was running at me. Looks like they can't make out. Oh, oh no, they can make it up here. They can absolutely make it up here. 
And a siren. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm mega dead. Wow. Okay. Well. That was, uh, that was wild. Um, I think we wait until we get the key to go back and do more of that. Because I think that is kind of a, that's kind of a run. Um, once we have the key though, we can, what was it? Not down there. Hang on. I don't remember how to get over to that door real fast and then we'll continue on our way. I think it was, you go down here. I think this is the door. Yeah, so we need, once we get the Skyforge key, I think we go that way. We take that path. Because those guys were, were fast and did a lot of damage. Definitely don't think I want to mess with them for the time being. 600, so I got 600 on deck. Not enough to get the key that I wanted. But we'll go back to the bell room for now. I want to take the alternative path that I could have and see what that would lead me to. I'm too fast. Can't get me. Fast as fuck, boy. So there's the ladder we knocked down. what I meant to do. I need you to not charge at me. If you charge at me, I'm probably dead. These guys are just barely not dying. Let me switch back to my old sword, because I'm not getting bleed procs on them anyway. Uh, and that definitely... Yeah, there's no way I'm going to survive that fall going down there. Now I can see what would have been over this way. Goes low. This looks like a, a place to plant a seed. Oh, gladly plant a seed. How many of those do I got anyway? Is that my last one? Big rip. Looks like it was a good one to grab, though. Guess I'm gonna need to go Umbral here. I'm not gonna wanna go Umbral without a seed nearby.
Oh god. Got a fresh vestige seed for doing that. Spend one to get one. I like that. And I was talking about how Lives of P is, is like linear. I didn't think it needed a walkthrough really because you can pretty easily find your way through everything. This, this is the opposite of that. This is, this is going to need a walkthrough. Because there's so many places that I'm just, you know, wandering and I'm like, what is over here? What is over there? And like, I, I think I know where I'm supposed to go for like progress you know I think I think I have an idea of like yeah this is probably the the forward path but oh no I'm fucked um but yeah I mean god the the sheer amount of side paths to explore and then opportunities to use the seedlings to create a rest point or not you know whether whether it's like hey I think I really need a rest point here you know, no, I think we'll be okay without it. Like, this is the kind of shit that people are going to need to walk through for. I like Lies of P, but I mean, it's just, it, it wasn't necessary, you know? Like, we get, uh, oh god, oh god, stop that, please. You're playing Lies of P, it's just that, you, you know, any side path in that game you could explore in like under five minutes like the only real area I can think of that was like an optional was the one where we got our our little uh our flame greatsword thing from that was like a uh that was a minor a minor side area nope shit oh whatever I can do that run again but this like dude we are going all over the place in these side areas especially with the Umbral manipulation that that adds a, a whole ass new element to it of like areas that can become side areas. And the fact that I can wander into areas where it's like, yeah, you don't belong here. That's a big one for me. Like how I, I you know, had to use Umbral and then not use Umbral to do that drop down. And then after I did it, I was, uh, you know, even after we went back and the, the devs were like, yeah, yeah, use it and then drop it. And we got through that. It became very clear, like, oh, okay, I don't belong here. Like after I made it across that bridge, my ass should have left. Let me put on some stuff. So...
umbral entity prevents your progress. I need to open that thing. City is, but right after we plunge attack big boy here, we're gonna find out. What is over here? Just a body. Yeah, like this is this is what I want when I play uh, a Souls game. You know, I want to I want to get lost in the world. I'm trying to remember, how did we deal with the Umbral Entity before? Don't we have to uh, like? Find the souls. It's one. There's more down below. Oh, hold up. Stone. there more? There's got to be more. Try going up real fast just to see. Maybe there's one I can see up here. There's some loot. Must be down below. I must have missed it. Oh, is there one over here that I'm overlooking? 
No, I don't see any over there. Does this path go deeper in some way? We haven't dealt with an umbral entity in quite a while. I mean, since the start of the game, really. But I remember the gimmick was to basically explore around and destroy the things associated with it. The last one had like, uh, had like stuff coming off of it that I was able to... No way, it does. There's this root. That must be the last root. Let me follow this root. Oh, there. I knew this platform had to be involved in some way. Solve the puzzle. Get off of me. Don't have time for you. Spent a lot of time in Umbral. These guys do not seem happy about that. past this. Vestige seed. I think I'm seeing increasing illusions of stuff that is gonna appear down here. I need to upgrade either way. Y'all hear a forge? Because I hear a forge. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Please tell me we just discovered the super secret blacksmith that upgrades our weapons. this way. And I don't know, there's so much to fucking explore in this game. Angry dogs. What is this? I wonder if this takes me back to the guy. If it does, that was a waste of a vestige seed for sure. 
It does. Son of a bitch. Rip. Big waste. How many seeds do I got? Do I have none? No, I have one. But the thing is, you never know, you know? Like, I don't want to pu push in deeper and potentially get bodied. And then not have a seed or anything. The blacksmith is caged. We gotta go save our homie. Yeah, we're definitely Damn saving you. Yo, free my blacksmith lady. What is this shit? Anytime you get... Anytime I strike his holy shield, I take damage. Another one we gotta break open. Prison cell key. of these fools. Go oh, that key. No one gets the finally. Me you made a slave of me. You don't count. Doing an old growl a kindness. <laughs> Doing an old growl. Nice. Pilgrim's perch key. I need to get that damn key. Alright, well she my guess goes back to the hub. Defiance ring. Nice. So Pilgrim's Perch Key for that. It looked like there was... Was there another path up top? Damn oh, I came down this way. Elevator. Yeah, maybe? Yeah, this. Where does this lead to? This is probably another shortcut that I can get later as I go deeper and deeper. No, I can take it now. Ooh. I want to go back to the hub, but I'm a sucker for exploration. So let's see where this takes me. So, you're starting to see through their lies. Church, crusaders, sentinels, corrupt hypocrites, butchers and madmen, a lot of them. Adir, the one true god stands on the verge of finally returning and restoring order to this broken world. And what do they do? Defy him. Fuck it. Heretics! Name's Damarose. And I'm wondering if a deer might have a purpose for you. It takes strength to survive in this world, and Mornstead's no different. A deer's got no time for the weak, and neither should you. 
cut them down and take what they've got for yourself. List of insight, raw mangler axe, fire grenade, adir's rage, inferno 22, inferno catalyst. Charred finger. Increases the reward received upon completion. Why do I think we just found the invasion item? If used while performing the crimson ritual, it increases the reward. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds mighty like uh, is this a boss. You got some doggies. Bad dog. Damn. How many dogs do you summon throughout the course of this fight? Come out of cages, okay. Got your ass. Happy feet. All right, I came in from that way over there, I think. Man, we are just over exploring now. Now's the time to wrap up. I think I'm wandering into an area I don't belong. There we go. Alright. Um, let's wrap up here. About a whole ass new area. Um, yeah. Things are going good. Anyway, stay tuned. Catch y'all soon with some more.